Hi everybody, in this video I wanted to go over the many benefits uh, of buying rent-to-own versus just renting. And so uh, I want to give you 10 points, 10 reasons why buying rent-to-own is smarter than just renting. And uh, I think that you'll find these valuable. The first one is that there's no credit check. When we sell our properties rent-to-own, there's absolutely no credit check. So if you've had foreclosures, uh, if you have collections, tax liens, late payments, uh, whatever, bankruptcy, doesn't matter because we're not going to check your credit in the first place. So this gives you time to fix your credit uh, if you pick a lease term anywhere typically from one to five years, two or three years being the average. This gives you time to fix your credit and, and that way when you do eventually go to exercise your option to buy, you can go to the bank with better credit, higher credit score, which means you'll save money on the interest rate, uh, you'll lower down your interest rate, and uh, uh, you'll just be in better shape and you'll have a better shot of qualifying. The uh, second reason is that you get to lock in your price in today's affordable real estate market. So, you know, in 2008, when the, the crash started happening, uh, homes were at their highest, now they're really, really low. And so, that's great for you. It's a great position. You hear everybody saying, you know, should I buy? Should I wait? Obviously, Obviously, we're biased, but we believe uh, you don't have to take our word for it. You can just you can just see, look around. The prices are super, super dirt cheap right now, and so it's a great time for buyers to buy. And if you've got bad credit, can't qualify with a, a bank loan, you can now. Now you can lock everything in today, and so that even though you're not going to a bank today, you're getting all the benefits as if you did. So buying right now is by far a smart thing to do. So lock in your price. Uh, number three, it allows you uh, time to save up for your ultimate down payment over time. So if you get a lease term, for example, of two or three years, this gives you two or three years to save. Every single month, your, your, uh, you, you can put away money for uh, the down payment that you're going to need with the bank, and that way you don't have to have it all today. Uh, this just gives you time. You're, you're buying yourself time, but you're locking in the low price today, the terms, you're getting the benefits as if you went to the bank uh, and qualified today, but you can't, it, it, you know, for whatever reason. And so this gives you time to save up for that down payment. Number four, uh, if you don't have enough time on the job. So if the bank is requiring that you have uh, two years on your job and you've only got one, one and a half, this gives you time to save or, or to build up that time in your job. And so it allows you. Uh, to meet that criteria that the bank uh, qualification is asking you to do. So it just gives you more time. Number five, uh, if you have too many properties. There's another reason why people buy rent to own. Maybe you've got more properties uh, than a bank will allow you to, to own uh, as far as giving extending you credit. So because this is between you and the, the home owner, uh, it's a non-issue. So that's another reason why folks will oftentimes do a rent to own. Um, this is a this is a point number six is a is a point that uh, is important I think to a lot of people. You're putting a down payment that will apply towards the purchase price, and sometimes it's called the the option fee. Uh, and when we assign our option over to you, you'll be paying an assignment fee to us and an option fee to the homeowner. It's gonna all be a part of the same uh, down payment, so it's all lumped into the same. It's just split. But oftentimes people will say, well, what happens, you know, if I decide that I don't want to move into the home or I mean, I don't want to own this home eventually. Let's say I want to move out of state or I lose my job. What happens if I lose my job uh, and I can't qualify for a bank loan in the future? What do I do then? Uh, so what we recommend is that, you know, you can you can negotiate that you'd be able to assign your option to buy. So that way, let's say you pay five, six thousand dollars for your option fee. Well, you can now. Uh, negotiate with the homeowner that you be able to find somebody like we're doing with you, somebody that can qualify just like you are, that's in, in just as good of qualifying shape as you are, have demonstrated they're responsible, that maybe they've had bad credit in the past, but now they're in a good position today, uh, or better, somebody that maybe even you know have a better position, have better credit or, or a better income, whatever it might be. So as long as you're replacing yourself, I mean, if you've qualified with us, and the homeowner, and they, they've agreed and approved uh, of your application, and you can find somebody just like yourself, you can get your five or $6,000 back. 
sometimes even charge more. Uh, we do. So, you know, that gives you an easy exit strategy in case you run into challenges where you can't qualify for the loan in the future when you thought you could. So let's say you, you put a two-year term uh, into the agreement, but in two years you lose your job or you decide you don't like the area or whatever reason, you can sell your option and get your money back and sometimes even more. So you can, you can negotiate that as well. That's a great, I think it's, it's the best uh, security. When you, when you do your, your option, uh, when you pay your option down and assignment fee, it is non-refundable with us, but you, again, you can negotiate that you be able to assign it to somebody else. So I, I definitely recommend that. Number seven, uh, you avoid wasting money on your rent. So again, buying rent to own is smarter than just renting because when you rent, nothing is applying, uh, towards a future purchased purchase. You're, you're just, uh, wasting your money every single month. So uh, buying rent to own is smart because it's ultimately going to be your house. So uh, you're not wasting, you know, that each time you spend money in rent, it's actually going to be applying towards the future ownership of your own home. So, you know, logically it makes more sense. Uh, number eight, equity buildup without home ownership. So imagine again, being able to lock in a low price today in two, three years from now, the home goes up in value you weren't able to qualify for the home at the time that you sign on the dotted line, but the home goes up in value. It builds equity, meaning let's say you buy the home for $200,000 in two years from now, when you go to exercise your option, it's worth 230,000. Well, that $30,000 increase is your money. So it's free money that you earned on a home that you didn't technically buy, but you locked in, uh, the price and the terms, which is why you pay the five or six thousand dollars, and so that thirty thousand dollars is now yours. That's a good deal. Um, if it doesn't go up in value or if it stays the same, uh, you know, it just you can still lock in that price. You can maybe even renegotiate at that time. I mean, there's other options for any concerns that you might have about how pricing goes. Um, the best scenario again is it goes up if it stays the same or just goes up a little bit still it's your money and sometimes you can uh, renegotiate and work things out on the price uh, at a later time and you can even stipulate that in the beginning in the contract so there's there's options there's ways to uh, to work this out number nine uh, you can make improvements in the home because and, and it benefits you because eventually the home will be yours if you exercise the option and during the lease term the one two three four five years however long you stay in you paint the home, you add new flooring. Of course, all this has to be approved by the homeowner. But uh, you, you know, you do all this. The good news is these improvements are going to be benefiting you in the future because it's going to be your house. So you're going to benefit from that. Uh, number ten, uh, you have you avoid moving again. A lot of folks that we work with come to us and say, you know, um, we don't want to keep moving. We've got kids. We like the schools. We want to lock in a property right now. We can't uh, qualify for whatever reason. We need more time for our down payment or we've got some blemishes on our credit. Maybe we had some problems in the past with bankruptcy. It was two years ago, but the bank says we still need two more years. We need a, four, a total of four years to before we can qualify. So we just want to buy this way, rent to own. So it makes sense. So in this case, you get to stay in the area that you're at. You get to lock in all the pricing. You, you're basically getting all the benefits that you would had you been able to qualify, no problem with the bank from day one, but without having to do that. And with less of a down, uh, less restrictive uh, requirements, which are getting worse and worse in today's market because of all of the subprime loans that fell apart. So it's just smart. Uh, you know, yes, you're paying a little bit bigger of a security deposit, but you know, sometimes it's harder to just even do a straight rental. It's easier, actually easier with us to do a rent to own with no credit check. Uh, and if you've got a little bit more of a down, you can say, listen, I'm so serious as a buyer that I'm willing to put my money where my mouth is. Um, that's huge. And that helps you uh, just avoid all the, the pain and suffering of renting every single month, knowing that you're throwing away your money, essentially, and uh, you're not getting any closer to, uh, to home ownership, and you're just wasting years of your life uh, renting and, and not getting any closer to, to building equity and building your own uh, financial wealth. So I hope that helps. Uh, those are the 10 reasons that I've got. Uh, there's more, but these are the benefits and the reasons why you want to uh, buy your home, rent to own.
that helps. Thanks.